Hey everyone, this is Argon Matrix, welcoming you to episode, um, what is it, 32? 32 maybe? Yeah, it's 32, I'm pretty sure. Of The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Last time, we got our awesome Gilded Sword, hell yeah! Now it's like double powerful, and it will never break. Okay, so, now that we've done that, there are quite a few other things that I want to do, but, um, I'm gonna need to reset time first. So that I have enough time to do all of them. Plus some of them can only be done on the first day. So, yeah. And so, yeah. Yeah, I always say that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, no. Just stop that. That's not funny. You stop that. Wilson Tech 1 reference for the win. Okay. So, we're going to go ahead and head back to the dawn of the first day here, obviously. And there's a mini game that I want to do in Clock Town here, but first, uh, well, first things first, as always, you want to slow down time, duh. But there's one thing I want to do before I go off to the mini game, because the mini game I can do anytime, provided I have 30 rupees, which I'll need to get. But there's one thing that I want to do on the dawn of the first day here, and that is, uh, you remember the pictograph contest? Yeah, the one in the southern swamp area. Remember that one? That you can only enter on the first day, otherwise you're eligible for it. Well, it is the first day now, so we're just gonna, no, not to Woodfall, to the southern swamp. We're gonna go there, and we're gonna hand the guy in an awesome pictograph that we're gonna take. Well, it's not awesome, it's gonna be of Tingle. Tingle's anything but awesome. Yeah, to win the pictograph contest, by the way, I have to take a picture of one of three things that I know of. It has to be either Tingle, the Deku King, in the like the guy in the Deku Palace, or a big Octo, one of the ones that the boat runs over. Just one of those. But we're just gonna go ahead and take down Tingle, I guess. Uh, you know what? I don't need arrows. I have Deku bubbles. Yeah. Back to old school. I'm, I'm so ghetto using Deku bubbles instead of arrows. Ha. Okay. So now that he's down. We'll go ahead and take out our pictograph box here, and take a nice little picture of Tingle. Let's see. Can, I, can you stop moving? Well, okay, that's pretty good. Oh, he's he's he looks so fat when he's just facing the camera like that. Look at that. That's crap. Oh, well. Well, I, I hope that's good enough. Jeez. These picture boxes are so bad. They always take pictures in black and white. What is this, the 50s? Actually, no, it's probably way earlier than that. Yeah, well, yes, keep this picture. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. I'm sure we'll enter the contest as a Deku Scrub. I just don't feel like taking the mask off right now. Okay. Blimey, where is he? The spoiled child is off playing hockey again. A child is age has no business searching for fairies. I think we've already heard that line, those lines of dialogue before. Oh, well. Oh, uh, only for humans? You racist bastard. Okay. Pictograph. Uh, here you go, buddy. What? That's my son. Ish, is he still doing that sort of thing? Herg, how humiliating. This guy, he's my son. You just said that. You don't need to be so redundant. I'm not stupid, navigator. As old as he is, he's still doing some pretty silly stuff. I guess I spoiled him too much when he was when I was raising him, but he's a really, he really is a kind-hearted boy. Well, thank you for going to all this trouble. This is just a small token of my gratitude, and he gives us... Piece of heart, yeah. That makes four. Count them. One, two, three, four. I just counted them on my fingers, but you couldn't tell. Because you're not in the same room as me. Or maybe you are. That would be really creepy, though. Now I'm paranoid. Okay. So that's the pictograph contest. Now, um, we're going to go ahead and head back to Clock Town. So I can take on the treasure chest mini game. Maybe you know what I'm talking about, but it's a, it's a, I don't want to say that word again because I've overused that word, but it's a hard mini game. Yeah. It's, it's basically all dependent on luck, I think. I don't think the patterns are always the same. They might be. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and take a, we're going to need your Goron mask and, uh, I guess the bunny mask, just, or bunny hood, just for a good measure. You're also going to need at least 30 rupees, but I recommend bringing more since you're probably going to fail this quite a bit. So we'll just go ahead and take out from our storage of 5,000 rupees. Seriously, are we ever going to need 5,000 rupees? I think not. 
Okay, I'll just take out. I'll just fill up my wallet. I don't see why not. Yeah, now I only have 4,800 4, rupees left. So, so little. You know, that's just like a, a penny in a bucket or something. Alright. Wow, my throat's really weighing down. But I don't have a code with me. I'm so sad. Okay, so the treasure chest mini game that I speak of is right here. And to get this one, well, basically, here's the premise of the game. There will be a treasure chest at the end of this big room here, somewhere at the end, when, once you talk to the girl and activate it. But some of these tiles will just randomly pop up, so there's only, like, one path that you can take in order to reach the chest. Now, you can do this as a human, plenty fine, or a Deku, or whatever, but she will only give you a heart piece for your efforts if you're a Goron. I don't know why that is. I think she has the hots for the Goron or something, but we'll see. Well, aren't you a fit fella? Wanna play? For you, it's 30 rupees. Okay. If you can make it all the way to the treasure chest, open it with the time li open it within the time limit. I'll give you a special prize. Finding out what's inside is half the fun. Are you ready? And it appeared way in the back corner there. Alright, I don't really have a strategy to this. I just like... I think there's like a strategy you can use of just following the right wall or something. Um, okay. It's, it's probably not the best idea to roll either. Alright, let's see here. Can I just walk right over to it? No, of course not. It's not that simple. Uh, what? No, don't... Don't... What? No! Oh, I'm surrounded. I'm trapped. Yeah, see what I mean? This You think you're going to make it, and then you just get all screwed over by this. By this crap! Alright. Uh, guide me over to it, maybe. Come on. Oh, maybe. Maybe. I made it! First try. Yes! I was not expecting to get that the first try. What's going to be in this chest? Is it my reward or not? It is. Okay. You got the piece of heart. That's two pieces. Cool. I have to check those two pieces off my checklist. Um, won't you try again? No. You're not going to give me another piece of heart. That would be nice if I could just get all the pieces of heart in the game from this one mini game, but... Alas. They'll never let you do that. They'll never let you get away with that. Okay. So. Uh, what else can I do right now? Oh, I know one I can get. Uh, another heart piece, I mean. It will be... Out in Termina Field... Okay, let me pass, guard. Thank you. Didn't need to check me, did you? Just like, oh, let him roll on by. Alright, so. Throughout Termina Field, there are plenty of holes scattered around. I don't know which holes I'm supposed to go in for this particular heart piece. I know this is one of them, at least, though. Because the holes that you want are the ones with uh, four Gossip Stones. One of the which is, uh, I guess it's, it has Giantitis or whatever that disease is called. Giantitis, what the hell. Okay, I mean, when you're down here, you want to play either the Goron's Lullaby or the uh, Sonata of Awakening, I think. There's another song you can play later on, too, if you have it, but we don't have it, so. So we're just going to go ahead and play the Goron's Lullaby here. And hopefully this will work out. It should. Let's see. Uh, no? Do I have to get closer? Well, don't take it off. What are you doing? Uh, is this going to work? It's supposed to work. I don't know why it's not. Um. Oh, wait, there we go. Yeah. So the biggest one will grow or go red and then grow. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So basically, that's the whole premise here. You want to go around to four different holes and each one, a different gossip stone, will be big. And you want to make each one of them red like that. So, uh, I guess I'm just going to... Since I don't know the exact locations of all these holes, I'm just going to wander around with you guys. And we'll find the holes together. Let's see, is there one under this rock? There's a hole here, but is it what I want? It is, cool. Didn't expect to get one of these on the first try. Okay, so, Goron Lullaby, go. Oh yeah, I just played the lullaby intro there and didn't bother finishing the song. Why did I do that? I don't know. Yeah, 
And you can't alternate songs, by the way. You can't, like, do the Goron's Lullaby for one and then the Sonata of Awakening for another. You have to do all four of them with the same song. Right, so that's half of it done. And I don't know what the purpose of this is or how you're even supposed to figure it out in the first place. How are you supposed to figure anything in Zelda out in the first place? I, I don't know. As people just spend way too much time in the coding of this or something. Okay. Uh, looking for another hole around here. Anywhere. Anywhere would be nice. I don't think any of the holes are hidden, though, so that's that's good, at least. Oh, here's one. Okay, kind of fell in that one by accident, but... Alright, another one. Cool. Anyways, uh, what time am I at? Ow! Stupid Skulltula. What time am I at? Ten minutes? Not too bad. Or eleven minutes, more like. Alright. Yeah. This isn't repetitive at all, is it? No. Of course not, don't be silly. This ain't repetitive. Look at them, three of them. Three clowns singing with one voice. Actually, it's supposed to be two clowns, but... I don't know. I'm improvising. Don't judge me. Okay, and the last one, I think, is somewhere over in this area. This big open area in front of the southern entrance. Um... Is it? over here more? Is it down here? Wait, I've already been down here. What the hell is going on? What's going on? Um. Jeez. I might be cutting some of this out. Just bear with me if I do. Because this could take a while to find, I guess. Uh, is there a hole around here? in this rocky region. There's a gossip stone. Can I just play in front of that one? Well, the bomb chew says, no, you can't. No, you can't. I'm going to explode on you and stop you from doing it. Hee hee hee. Okay. Oh, here's another hole. I wonder if this is the right one. We're going to find out. It is. Yes, it is. Yay. I love how all these caves are also slightly different, too. You know, like, the first one was pretty standard. Yeah, the first one was pretty standard, just like a normal cave, and then the second one was, like, I don't know, just minute differences in them. Well, that one had a sculptural in it, and the others didn't. That was a big difference. Alright, and that's all four of the Gossip Stones. What's that gonna do? Oh, I just pick up a random heart piece from nowhere. That's, that's great. Okay, so those are the three heart pieces that I know I can get for sure right now. I'm pr I don't know if I can get any others with my current supplies right now. What? When I punch you, you just jiggle? That's not nice. That's not nice. Alright. So, na but now, uh, you know what? I plan to get some masks later on before the next temple. But I think I'm going to save that for the next episode. And the episode after that, probably. Alright, so, that's all for this one. Thank you, everyone, for watching. And until next time, this is Argon Matrix, signing out. Thank you, and good night.